Don't you dare. Cause I'm a singer, not a church bell ringer. I'll use my voice to carry the load. I'll tell a story, heartfelt or carefree, and share a song along the road. Last time I checked in, we had just arrived in Pennsylvania for our usual anniversary pilgrimage to the Celtic Fling. It was a lot of driving, but we had a blast, and returned home under blue skies. Luckily, my father had already repaired our driveway, so a few puddles and this swath of debris through the hayfield was all that remained of the foot of rain we'd had the week before, and we were able to pick up right where we'd left off. We grabbed all the fixtures we needed for the rest of the plumbing in the shed, knocked a big hole in the floor, and have just about finished laying in the septic hookups. My father buried the rest of the septic line, and in doing so, found, among other things from the original house, an old glass syrup bottle? It looks like a syrup bottle. Is this a syrup bottle? Anyway, I finally got the countertop adhered to the freezer lid, only to plug it in and find out it's not working for some reason. We're working on it. On the bright side, we found the final major component of our kitchen space. Look at this gorgeous baker's rack. It's perfect and it's green and I love it. I also finished putting together the Dynabit pen, brought home a couple more chickens, and introduced everybody to their new home. So far, it seems to be working out great. My wee bantam rules the place, which, while not entirely unexpected, is still pretty darn funny. This is a 10 by 20 run with a double layer of wire around the bottom that extends under the cinder blocks to prevent anything digging in or out, and it's connected to the old red coop inside the greenhouse for some extra shelter, roosting, and nesting space. Little Miss Cadbury even got her own new coop, much to her delight. In other news, the early harvest season has officially started here. Squash and potatoes are blooming, lettuce is almost tall enough to eat, and all the berries are beginning to ripen, which means my near future is definitely going to involve cobbler and ice cream. Of course, like everywhere else, the last few days here have been hot, so productivity has ground to a crawl. I think the animals have the right idea, and I've spent quite a few hours lounging in front of fans with them and splashing in the creek. Otherwise, I end a day looking like, well, this. So, until we get a little more rain, or a better breeze, that's all I've got for you folks. I hope you're all staying cool out there.